Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got a video on Nick's uh, VW bus. Today uh, we're going to be doing a little tinkering, uh, working on some stuff that's uh, not working great. So uh, what are we going to be doing today, Nick? All right, so if you come around here. Uh, so when I try and drive it, the, uh, the pedal assembly, I, I push it down, uh, or the, the gas pedal, I push it down, and then it just stays down and like slowly springs back up. So what we're going to be working on today is we're going to try and fix that. Uh, so the whole pedal assembly, there's the pedal, and then it goes down, and there's a wire runs it's to the back. The car, like. Yeah, the wire runs to the back, and then it goes to the um, carb. Yeah. So I think the carb is okay. Uh, so didn't you fix this previously with like some little like MacGyver thing? You put a pin or something, or what did you do? No, that was the um, the pedal. Uh, if you can see, there's a screw on it. There's not supposed to be that screw right there. There's supposed to be. That flat plate, and then there's oh, a that, bracket under it. That under one, it, yeah. yeah. There, there's a bracket under it, and um, we're not going to be fixing that. We would need new parts to do that, and we're not going to do that today. Yeah, we don't have any parts right now. Um, so we're just going to take it off. I think there's probably some friction in the hinge right there, so we're just going to maybe take off the hinge, sand kind of everything down, and lubricate things, and lubricate it and stuff. Or, Basically, yeah, just, just trying to fix just the pedal it. response. So. Um, so I don't flood the engine. We're probably going to start out with getting some needle nose vice grips and just disconnect, just clamping the oh, fuel the hose. Fuel lines? Yeah. yeah. Gonna... Um, so yeah, let's just get into that. Okay, guys, we're back here under the uh, under the engine hood here, and uh, what are we going to do, Nick? So we're going to just disconnect the uh, line connecting the throttle. Yeah, the throttle throttle line. <laughs> Um, throttle cable, accelerator cable. I don't know if this is a long enough extension. What we might have to do is take the distributor cap off, get some clearance in there, take this off, and then we're going to hold on to the accelerator cable and loosen it. It should be loose enough. You can push it through. And it's off. Yeah. And it's off. And you can see why we're going to the pedal is this is has no problem springing. Yeah, so it's it looks probably like it's not working that. correctly. Slides are good. So either it's in the throttle cable or the accelerator cable. It could be the or cable's like stretched, but but then it would just yeah, it still would. Die. I don't think it's stretched. Yeah. I think there'd probably be maybe something in there. This yeah. this car does have mice, so maybe they're messing with that or something. So there's some so, obstruction to the pedal. Some obstruction, nice. yeah. So we're gonna just go through and clean all that. We going? All right. So um, we're deducing this. The the pedal is going up and down just fine, so we're not gonna uh, fix that. But the cable is has some friction in it, so we're gonna try and take it out. Maybe put it back in. See if we can do that a few times. See if there's stuff in there. Probably. Um, there were mice in my car, and they were getting in through this hole, so they were probably climbing on this somehow or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. So we're gonna pull the cable through. Yeah, we're gonna pull the cable out and then you want to like back tie a string to the end of it, and then like we can just tie yeah, the string. we could do that. Back onto it, like, and then we can pull it through really easy. Let me put it back. Why are you looking at me like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we could probably do that. Uh, so we'll I, usually, that I usually just push it through. And oh, it's fine. It, as long as it that works. But if there's stuff in there, uh, having a string in there wouldn't hurt, and then we could just like flail it around. And yeah. So if you guys could stuff see. Loosen. Right? Yeah, it goes through here and then it... That little tube, that's the throttle cable that runs through that little small diameter pipe all the way back to the uh, carb. Yeah. So, there probably is, you know, some oxidation or something in there that's causing some friction. But so. what we're going to do is take this off. Um, we are going to uh, remove this cotter pin, take this assembly off. I already removed that spring. And then this hook should be able to come off because it'll, like, be around. Yeah. Sort of thing. So, yeah. Okay. That's the game plan. Cameron, could you uh, get me a flathead? Okay, so Nick is putting the cotter pin, messing with the cotter pin. Yeah, I'm trying to remove it. So, you can see it's a little rusty under here. Yeah, it's been here for probably three and a half years. Wait. What do you mean? Yeah, well, this cotter pin's been in for probably three and a half years. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Did you replace that bracket? Cause it, that, yeah. It looked, okay, I was going to say, that looks way shinier than uh, everything else. Yeah. 
I replaced the bracket and I haven't replaced this LinkedIn, but it's. So wait, you know, this car from the East Coast right here or something? Or? Well, yeah, it was bought on the East Coast, but it was uh, the Did original have, driver yeah, drove California it. Or something? Yeah, drove it to California, like brand new, so it doesn't have any of that East Coast oh. rust. Just age, just yeah. age rust. Yeah. We're in the Pacific Northwest. So it sat in the Pacific Northwest for 30 years where it gets rainy and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so we got the cotter pin out. Pin out. Right, move this. Move the washer. Pretty easy to take apart, looks like. Remove that guy. Well, throttle bracket. And then that should come right off. And look at that, we already got the cable. Yeah, there's a lot of friction in that tube. So uh, yeah. we're gonna tie a string to the other end. Try to and then pull, pull it through this way. Through. Yeah. So we will do that next. Should I do a clove hitch? <laughs> okay guys, we are back here under the in Jamea, and as you guys can see you got this long string right now that uh, Nick cut. And I just it was my idea by the way. Uh <laughs> But we just tied the string <laughs> to the end of the throttle cable so that when we pull it through that tube, um, we'll be able to pull it back through really easy. Yeah. So. <laughs> that was very that's, flattering. That's the plan. So, yeah, you guys can see it's tied to the little end of it. So, and it might also pull some gunk out or something. So, uh, gonna pull we're going to go up right. and show you guys what it looks mm, like pulling it through. Some mouse species. <laughs> Cameron, fucking stop. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are under. No one gives start pulling it through. You guys can see it's Cameron, pulling. make sure it doesn't get caught anything on the back. Because there's that. Yeah, so Cameron's going to help us feed it. Feed, like, feeding a long string of... Like a feeder type of thing. Anal be... <laughs> <laughs> feeder, feeder fetish. The head is caught on something. Something's caught. It's really hard to focus. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, I see it. Wait. Uh, let me do it. I'm pulling. Oh, there we go. It's coming. Okay. Jesus. Okay, guys, I'm pulling it a little bit. Oh, Nick's coming back. Kids these days. There we go. It's coming. And we'll see the string pop out. Sorry for the fuzzy camera. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of shit on this. Cool. Well, keep keep on, keep on. Oh, oh, there we go. We got the string. You can, you can see it. There we go. The texture worked great. You want to come here? Okay, so we're gonna. Clean that long throttle cable out stuff. Okay, guys, so we just pulled the cable out. It's going to be kind of hard to see on camera. There is gunk on the cable, but if you can see it. And so you, yeah, hold the paper towel, like, kind of behind it or something. And then, yeah. So we're going to wipe it down like that. Yeah, you guys can yeah. see. Well, all the pine needles are just because it was on the ground. But we're going to have to carefully put it back so that when we put it back in, we don't have the pine it hitting the ground and the pine needles, like, just like that over there. Anyway. <laughs> but we'll obviously, like, when we basically pull it back, we'll just wrap the paper towel on there and clean it off. Yeah. So, yeah, that string thing worked really good, actually. <laughs> you will have to, like, manually feed the tip of it back in. Yeah, I don't know what that gunk is. I don't know if it's mouse stuff or grease or something. I mean, it's an open tube under the car, so. Yeah. It will just, like, road, basically road grime very slowly accumulating, like, flicking up into the tiny little tube. Maybe. Alright, so, so now we should, uh, I guess, take the string and like pull it back and forth just so it like kind of loosens up all the grime in there. That should probably be a plan, right? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. So we could, we could actually just like pull it in and out a couple times. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to do that, I guess, a couple more times and clean it and then we'll show you guys. Basically, when we put it back in. Okay, you can see we're clean. We're trying to clean out the tube. This end is pretty clean, but if I go up to keep pulling, Cameron, yeah, you can see the string is all right, all stop. Dirty. I'm gonna pull. Yeah. So 
It seems they said that the tube seems to be loosening up. Just pulling back. Keep doing it. Keep just do it again. Yeah. All right, so stop. Just literally pulling back and forth. All right, now pull. Cameron's tired of pulling. Come on, you've done this for like an hour at a time. I know. It's probably clean <laughs> now. It, I feel like no tension in the tube now, so it's okay, probably cool. clean. So. Now we will be able to feed that back. We'll ha we'll like wipe it down as it goes in, so that we don't have the pine needles on it. But the dog here. Whose dog is that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so we'll uh, start to feed the end of the little throttle cable back towards the carb. Okay, guys. Wait, what do you need, Gary? He needs a paper towel. Give me a paper towel too. Just give me a. Oh boy, this is dysfunctional. What, this YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get me a paper towel too? Cameron, we need a paper towel. Stop pulling! We're under the car! Yeah, I'm just so put that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just start. <laughs> it's on the undercarriage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pull. Okay, guys, we are feeding the. Cable in there. Cameras on the other end with the string. What are we gonna do with him? And Nick has a paper towel. Yeah, just making sure it's clean. Make sure it's really clean when it goes into. As we pull it through. And we did have to like feed the the end of it because it was like the tip of it. As you can see, it's going in there. All right. And he That's almost has the end. Wait, did we put the? No, okay. Okay, it's probably caught on something over there, Cameron. It's probably not going in, but like between the engine and the. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'll go do it. Um. Okay, so we'll just get yeah. back when we put it back together, basically, uh, <laughs> and then we'll see. We'll see if it's better. <laughs> Which it did seem to do uh, yeah, work it, clearing out that tube. Yeah, it does seem to be better. Okay, guys. So we uh, reconnected the cable pulled it through with the string and uh, it doesn't really seem to have made a perfect difference it's still kind of slow you guys can see it yeah so um, the next step we're probably gonna do is I'm gonna probably just get a big spring on this side like I think there's an upgrade for buses we're gonna have like extra spring on it so I think that's the only thing I can yeah, do we right don't now have it right now so we can't really do it, I'm gonna so. buy that I'm also probably buy a new pedal because it look at that screw thing in the bracket is just kind of janky um, other than that, I think that's kind of, we're done for today. Yeah, so, yeah, we tinkered on the bus and... Yeah, upgrades that should probably come soon is I need to fix the, um, adjust the brakes, and then I'm also going to probably replace with, Cameron and I were talking about going to his work and, like, using a lift and replacing with tie rod ends. Okay. So. Yeah, that'll be cool if we do that. So, yeah. thanks guys for checking it out, and we have other videos uh, actually doing a lot of other stuff on this bus, so uh, please subscribe and check out those other videos.